Hey everyone, what's going on? Danny AR10 and I have an unboxing today for you guys and that's going to be for the HP touchpad. Just got here today, uh, placed the order on Sunday through Best Buy once uh, they put it up at the low price uh, for $99 and $149. You guys know the whole smell now. Uh, it's been slowly the hottest selling uh, electronic item overnight on Amazon and BestBuy.com due to the price drop and discontinuation of WebOS uh, devices in general. So this is going to be my unboxing of the HP Touchpad. Just received it today, like I said, shipped out Monday. Pretty quick shipping from Best Buy and got it today. So I've, you know, been familiar with the uh, Touchpad. My, like I said, my mother-in-law has one and I've played around with it. So having a good idea of, you know, what it comes with and whatnot. But a lot of you guys out there, you know, really don't know what it comes with. And just, you know, really want to see it. There's, you know, there's hundreds and probably even thousands of, you know, unboxing videos for the uh, touchpad. So, I don't know if mine's going to be any different, but I hope just to give you guys a little, you know, people who are interested in these type of videos who have, you know, wrote to me and told me they prefer, you know, these unboxing videos and review videos over my, you know, commentary videos, just for you guys. So, here's the packaging. Uh, very basic, you know, shows back there, you know, Beats Audio. And HP logo on the side, box in the front, very simple. Slides open from the sides, kind of suction cupped in there. It's pretty tight actually. And once you get it out, that's it. You have it itself. Let me adjust the camera a little farther back so you guys can get a better, better angle. And here you go. Take it on out. Let's put this to the side for just a second, see what it comes with. It says here, now it comes to the says now comes the fun part but uh i think that's more of a sarcastic <laughs> comment because all this really is is the uh paperwork and instructions and whatnot which i'm not even really get into but it's just them kind of be funny you know kind of sarcastic and then you have power basic power actually you know what let's just open up like that on the side here put this to the side you have a little charging brick, a charging little cylinder. It's not actually a brick with a USB. There it is. Then you got your USB cable. It's actually a mini or actually micro USB. And that's it. So really all that comes in the packaging itself. I'm gonna keep actually these items out because I haven't yet turned on the touchpad. I'll, I'll attempt to turn it on. Uh, I know it takes a little while to boot up, so it may, you know, take up part of the video, and I don't really want to do that because I have booted one of these up, and it does take us, you know, a little while for it to boot up. But uh, that was just gonna be my quick unboxing. I'll show you guys actually a quick little look at the actual touchpad itself. There you go. See my reflection. You have your power button right there. It's actually a physical button actually slightly raised you can feel it. it has like a little outline you have your front facing camera right there you have your power button let's wait for the autofocus and not getting it there's your power button there's your three and a half millimeter headphone jack here's your USB and here your Beats audio speakers. You got one right there, and you got another one right there, and they are actually on this on the side of the device. This is the device like this, and they're actually here on the side. And that's about it. You got the volume rocker on this side, and you got your HP logo on the back. For 100 bucks, can't go wrong. There are a lot of haters out there who are saying it's not worth it because it's a dead device and blah blah and. I don't want to hear it really, to be honest with you, because for a hundred bucks, anyone would buy this. If you could get one and you were up early enough and could get one, that's it. You would you'd buy one for a hundred bucks. What this item can do as a media player, as an internet browser, as a just tablet that you know, even if you were to buy the iPad and you weren't able to get you know all the apps from the th from the App Store. The iPad as it is standalone is a great device for what it does. This is a great device for what it does out of the box. 
and the fact that they updated it a few weeks back to improve the slowdown and some of the issues that it had. And the App Store, even though it's been receiving criticism, there are more compatible app, uh, tablet optimized apps in the HP touchpad or in the WebOS store than there are on any Android tablet. Because Android tablet, even though they have a, you know, an Android marketplace, they do not have many tablet optimized apps. And that's what people fail to realize, that most of their apps are Android phone only. So hope to shed some light on that situation for you guys or that, you know, in case you guys were questioning or wondering if you should get one, definitely if you can get one for 99 or even the 150 for the 32 gig, I would definitely go out and buy one, hands down, no doubt. So I thank you guys again for sticking with me and tuning in to my unboxing review, or my unboxing video, excuse me. I'll be playing with it some uh, over the next couple days, maybe even just today, and try to get my review up for tomorrow so you guys can enjoy that. Once again, Danny AR10, you can follow me on Twitter at Danny AR10. You can follow me on Google Plus at Daniel Ruiz, which is my full name. And you can subscribe, rate, and comment. And I can hit you up uh, anytime you guys have any questions. You can hit me up on my PM box on YouTube. And I'll gladly hit you back and reply to any questions you guys may have, tech-related or not. Danny AR10 signing out.